it's good to see you. Today we are back at Dollar Tree and it looks like spring has sprung. Look at all the pretty flowers. Oh, I always love coming out here and seeing all the pretty things. Look, it's lilies. They have pink ones. Oh, these are pretty. These are, these have little pink stripes. And look at these, see you can turn and it rotates. Oh, we got hangy down flowers. <laughs> They have the names on them. I just, I like hangy down flower. And we have, oh, look at the greenery down here. We have spider plants. We have a car with no muffler somewhere nearby. Well, here's some yellow flowers. Nice. Oh, I like these. The burgundy look, those are pretty. And these light blue ones too. Oh, these would have looked good in that um, St. Patrick's Day wreath. They're, they're kind of a, a greenish yellow they're hydrangeas and see they have little holes and you just stick them in there so pretty yeah and over here we have some roses oh these are pretty they're yellow but they have little they have pink on the ends oh my goodness and you can get little little spinners that twirl in the wind Nice. Oh, wow. Look at these. They're kind of a coral color. Okay. These are hydrangeas as well. So pretty. Here we have a little spring bouquet. Little flowers. Purple roses. Oh, and look over here. I didn't see these a second ago. Look at these lilies. Ooh, they're like a seafoam green. Aren't they beautiful? Oh. I like those. Those are pretty. Oh, and they have them in yellow. Look at these pretty things. Now, I know a lot of people don't like artificial flowers. I mean, I hear it. I hear you. Here's for Scythia. I just think they're beautiful. They're so pretty. Yeah, so, um, I don't know. Let's go in and see what's inside. Well, inside we have some more. We have a little cardboard box that's holding flowers here. Those are cool. And here, oh look at these. These are kind of a pinkish color and then they have blue on the edges. Those are gorgeous. I don't think I've ever seen them have this many lilies. Here they have some that are kind of a yellowish green color. Oh, we have some mesh. I don't think I need any mesh, but they have some. That's You have to grab it when you see it, but right now I have quite a bit, so I don't think I need any right now. Oh, look at these pretty little things. You see, I, these are, they always have this little section back here, say, think spring. They're so pretty. These are little, pe uh, what are they called? Oh, pansies. I was going to say peonies, but look at the pretty colors. I love those because they do really well even when it's cold and the weather is kind of yucky. They still look pretty. These are pretty too. It's called a, a spike aspic. <laughs> That's a nice blue. They'll look really good in a wreath, I think. Yeah. I already have everything for my Easter wreath though. I don't need anything else for that. You can get a light up, a fiber optic light up rose. Well, nothing says love like something like that from the Dollar Tree. I can't believe they have so many left. Good gracious. They got these for Valentine's Day, but it looks like they have a lot. Oh, we have bulbs. Look, you can get, you can even get a little bag of bulbs. Gladiolus. Oh, they were grown in Holland. Aren't they pretty? You know, my grandfather used to grow these. He did. He was really good at growing stuff like this, and he would do flower arrangements for for the church that they she he and my grandpa grandmother went to. He would make the most beautiful flower arrangements from flowers he grew himself, and gladiolus was one of his favorite. He'd grow these in all different colors and make just the most beautiful flower arrangements for the church. I don't know where he learned to do that, but. He was really good at it. Here you have, oh, these are metal. 
I think we looked at these before. You could get you some little metal pots. These are plastic. They're pretty though. Look at all the colors. Nice. And look at all the look at all this. You could get these in so many colors. You could you could color coordinate your little party. Yes. Oh, I tell you, I had a rough day yesterday. I had to take Olive to the vet. She's okay. But I had to take her to the vet. And then I had my countertops installed. And then I found out when they got done that they don't install the new faucet. I had to get a plumber to do that. And I was not aware that I had to get a plumber to do that. So this was, I found this out at about 4 o'clock on a Friday afternoon. I was not happy about that because I had nobody lined up to do it. So it was either go all weekend with no kitchen sink or pay a plumber overtime to come install it last night. So I had somebody come last night and do it. Oh, I was exhausted. He didn't leave until about almost nine o'clock last night. It took him a while. I don't know what the problem was. There was some issue with the pipes. Look at these pretty bags. Look at this. This goes right here. Look at the little baby bag. Oh my goodness. I don't know why these are sitting on the floor. They're cute though. <laughs> oh, it's a birthday cake. I like one there with a the big octopus on it. That's cute. So yeah, I was I was exhausted by last by bedtime last night. I was so tired. You can get adorable little baby bottles of game. It's so cute. Okay, this is original. And this is fabric softener. And look at the little baby bottle of Clorox. It's so sweet. But I did get my countertops put in and my faucet. And it's beautiful. I still have to get the wall, the ledge stone put up on the wall. I have, that's not done yet. Once that's done, we'll be all finished. On and back here, we have we have drugs. We have ibuprofen. Now you'll notice that there are two different types. You have the orange one and this blue one. The reason that is is because Motrin is a brand is a brand name of ibuprofen. Motrin comes in an orange box. And people looking for Motrin are going to be drawn to the orange box. Advil, which is also ibuprofen, it's the same thing, same strength. It comes in a blue box. So people looking for Advil are going to be drawn to the blue box. Yeah. We haven't done this in a while. Oh, and we have little baby minis. Honestly, though, to me, they don't look any smaller than the tablets, but they're um, they're liquid-filled, and I have heard people say they work faster. I don't know. Okay, they're 200 milligrams. These are from Assured. You get 10, or this is a new one, Ready in Case. But it's the same thing. It looks a little longer, though. It's like these right here. Well, you only get six of these little long soft gels. These are just little bitty. It's the same strength, though. Each one of these is 200 milligrams. So you can get the ready in case you're going to get uh, 10 or assured you get six soft gels. I don't know why we got minis right there, but we'll leave them. If you want brand name stuff, you can get six caplets of Tylenol, extra strength. That's like three doses. For some reason, there seems to be a muffler shortage in Greensboro. People around here don't believe in mufflers anymore. They, they don't. They drive cars with no mufflers on them is really weird. 
their mamas didn't hug them enough. Now here we have, this is assured acetaminophen. Now this is 500 milligrams, that's extra strength. It is a fever reducer and a pain reliever. That is generic Tylenol. Or, what is this? Tension headache relief. Now that's from Assured. You get 15 caplets for a dollar. The only difference with this, you do have the acetaminophen. It is, let's see. Yeah, this is like extra strength Tylenol plus caffeine. You're going to get, with one dose, it's going to be 1,000 milligrams of acetaminophen. 130 milligrams of caffeine. So it's like a cup of coffee, basically. What is this one? Y'all remember these? We haven't done these in a bit. This is headache, PM. Now, anytime you see PM on something, that means there's probably diphenhydramine in here. That's generic Benadryl. It's, um, you know, an, an allergy medication. One of the side effects, though, is that it makes people sleepy. That's why they sell it as a sleep aid. Gosh, that stuff's packed in there. Look at that. Wow. Ooh. Oh, I use these right here. I stock up on these because they don't have them all the time. It's Soothing Nature Garden Sleep Aid. Now, it doesn't just have melatonin in it. Um, it has melatonin, lemon balm, chamomile, and lavender. I love these. It's a little chewable tablet. It's cherry flavor. And you just chew up one before you go to bed. And I find that they really do help me sleep better. I like them. Here we have allergy plus sinus headache. Now allergy is probably gonna have, yep, diphenhydramine in here, acetaminophen, which is your Tylenol, and phenylephrine is the horrible substitute for pseudoephedrine, which they are no longer allowed to sell over the counter because of meth people. You can still get it, but you have to go to the drugstore to get it. Phenylephrine is an, it, Phenylephrine is marketed as a nasal, nasal decongestant, but it's terrible. Like it doesn't really work. I just go to the pharmacy counter and get uh, pseudoephedrine because it works better. This, this is this is another PM pain relief. That's acetaminophen with diphenhydramine. The only thing is, though, each tablet has 25 milligrams of diphenhydramine. I don't know about you, but if I took 50 milligrams, that's like two doses, I would be knocked out until next week sometime. Lord, back and body is just wonky. Look at it. Bless its heart. Good old back and body. What is back and body, you may ask? Well, I'll tell you. Back and body has aspirin and caffeine, and that's it. Just ask, there's no acetaminophen in here, which some people can't take acetaminophen, so it has 500 milligrams of aspirin, which is an NSAID, N-S-A-I-D. NSAID stands for non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug. Ibuprofen is also an NSAID, along with Aleve. Is that PM? No. This is loperamide right here, antidiarrheal. It's like a modium AD. It's only two milligrams, but it works. Uh, okay, and here you have just, this is just plain old diphenhydramine. If you're having trouble sleeping, but you're not in any pain, you can just take this, unless you're allergic to it. I'm not a doctor, don't take my advice, blah, blah, blah. 36 tablets for only a dollar. It's pretty good. I take it at night because I sleep better when I take it. I can't really tell that it's helping my allergies much, though. <laughs> okay, Aleve is also an NSAID. See, it says so on the box. That is naproxen sodium. It's kind of like ibuprofen, but it's it's in the same drug family, I believe. Oh, you can even get plain old aspirin. Look, 125 tablets for only a dollar. That is crazy. Get you a bottle of aspirin. 
We have these little hooks. Looks like there's been a run on the aspirin. I think we've been buying it up. Woohoo! Oh, I love these little bottles of antacid. Look, they're so cute. These are like, um, what are these like, Tums? You can take it as a calcium supplement as well. But they're, it's adorable. You get 60 of these for only a buck. That's crazy. Look, it's like a little army of antacids. That was one thing looking back before my dad had his heart attack when I was 12. I remember he started, um, he would just carry around like a little roll of Rolaids with him all the time. And I noticed he was just eating them like candy. That, you know, this went on for a couple of months before he had his heart attack. He was just, I mean, I just, I noticed it. I didn't say anything about it, but I noticed that he was, he was just eating them all day long. And then he had his heart attack. He was young, too. Of course, they said because he was in Vietnam, he was exposed to Agent Orange, and it caused heart damage. And uh, a lot of a lot of those guys that were exposed to it had heart trouble way younger than they normally would. This is like Robitussin. DM means it probably has dextromethorphan in it. Yep. 20 milligrams of dextromethorphan, which is a cough suppressant. It's an awesome cough suppressant. Although, you know, when you look at these, there may be a bunch of stuff in here you don't need. Um, guaifenesin is an expectorant that helps to loosen the stuff in your chest. Um, but sometimes, like NyQuil, will have a whole bunch of stuff in it that you don't really need. You can you can usually just look at it and tell, like if you need something to suppress a cough. Extra methorphan will work. Delsum takes, tastes a lot better, though. This stuff, oh, God, this stuff tastes awful. You are not going to guzzle this for fun. It tastes terrible. Delsum doesn't taste anywhere near as bad. What's this one? Tussin, mucus, and chest congestion. Now, that is only guaifenesin. But they have the guaifenesin in a tablet form, so you don't... Is this, this stuff's going to taste like death warmed over? I mean, it's truly wretched. It tastes awful. Um, but it does help with chest congestion to loosen it. Um, like if you have bronchitis or something like that. I had bronchitis a lot as a kid. I'm very familiar with stuff like that. Oh, look. <laughs> we have little crayon bandages. How cute. It's a little crayon bandage. That's the actual size. Those are cute. Oh gosh, they even have Nerf Band-Aids. <laughs> Nerf! I, oh, that's cool. I should get some of those. My younger son would love it. Yeah, right here. I'll show you this. This is the exact same thing. Now, you have to watch the milligrams on it. That's 400 milligrams. Um, that is... That is per caplet, so you only really have to take one, so you're going to get 15 doses of that. So if you don't like the taste of the liquid, you can always get the tablets and just, I mean, they're kind of big though. Well, they're not too big. They're about that size. But if you don't like the liquid, you can take that. And, okay. This is Cetirazine. This is generic Zyrtec. Zyrtec, the best way I know of to get, I get the generic at Costco, you can get a year's supply of cetirazine for about $18. And you don't need a prescription or anything. You just walk in and buy it. But here you can get 14 tablets for a dollar. Of course, that's not the brand name, but yeah. All right. Now down here we have the nasal decongestant. These boxes are about as stable as my ex-husband. They fall over all the time. This is just plain old phenylephrine. They used to sell pseudoephedrine this way, but then we had the meth people problem. So now all you can get is just phenylephrine, and it's garbage. Like, it doesn't work. Just go to the drugstore and get pseudoephedrine. Okay, this is cetirazine again, but it's soft gels. You can get 12 soft gels for a dollar. 
I do find that Zyrtec works a little bit better than Benadryl for me. But yeah, I go to Costco to get it because you can get a year's supply for less than $20. It's a fantastic deal. And, oh, I, I keep these at home. This is dextromethorphan. That is your cough suppressant. And you don't have to take that nasty liquid. You can just take one of these little soft gels right here. And it has 15 milligrams of dextromethorphan for a soft uh, mm, cough suppressant. Like if I have a cough that's keeping me awake at night, I'll take one before bed so I can sleep. But you don't want to suppress your cough all day. That's not, not good. Oh, wow. Look. Look how pretty. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I didn't get the naproxen sodium, did I? This is generic elite naproxen sodium. That's another NZ. You can get 10 of these tablets, and each tablet is one dose for a buck. Just one buck. Isn't that crazy? And chewable aspirin. We used to call this baby aspirin when I was a kid. This, I, oh gosh. I took so much of this stuff as a kid. Every time I had a fever, my mom would give me uh, Bayer baby aspirin. I look at that box. I can still taste. I still know what that tastes like. She'd bust out the baby aspirin in a heartbeat. Okay. That's, that's better. No, we got some random... You see, nothing here has to be in any certain spot. You're not going to see any tabs. They just put it wherever. Wherever. And they don't rotate their stock like they should. I, I used to put out stock. And I can tell you right now, a lot of this was shoved back. But I'm, I won't comment on that any further. We have apple cider vinegar. In a, this is a nail polish box. I, I don't like to organize bandages because they fall over. Look, you can get liquid skin for minor cuts, cracks, and abrasions. It's basically just super glue for your skin. Um, what did we do over here? Soaps. Look at the soaps. Ta-da. Ta-da. Where'd you come from? I don't know where you came from. It's a random coco coconut cocoa hand soap. Baby, I don't know where you came from. Oh, right here. Hang on. Here's another one. Ooh, cherry. Cherry. And then we have a lavender chamomile flavored soap. Ooh, pretty. Where did it come from, though? Well, up here. Okay. Hold on. This is a foaming hand sanitizer and it's cranberry flavor it's sparkling cranberry dang okay this soap is very confused it's all over the place it looks like a bunch of disoriented penguins look at the <laughs> the tops just look like little penguins that don't know where they are this is peach flavor fresh peach scent there's a purple one back there. I'm trying to get it out. I'm trying it there. These are from Assured, and they make a lot of the OTC medications in here. Hada. We only have one of the coconut flavored Hadas. Fragonzia hand soap refill from Clorox. It's spring flavor. Gotta love that. We have cherry blossom. This is from Lucky super soft. I want to smell this tropical garden one. Ooh. Sorry, that's an awkward angle. Bath and Beauty pear flavor. It's pear flavor. And we have some over here that's ocean scented. Look, here's one that's dolphin flavor. It's just hand soap. It? Well, it says fresh scent. They all say fresh scent. You can get starfish flavor, turtle flavor. These are all different. 
fish flavor. I don't know if it's supposed to be sorted that way. The little fish are cute. Oh, this one's different. This one says tropical breeze scent. Well, darn, I don't know. I can't fit it in there. Here's a dolphin flavor. Turtle. What are these? Starfish. Just a that's like a saltwater fish. And we look at these big refills. These are only a dollar. Dang. 16.9 ounces. For a buck. That's amazing. Apple flavor. Hey, this one's lavender. I'm not a big fan of lavender scented stuff. It never smells right. Ooh, Suave even made one. Juicy orange flavor. Hmm. That's a cute little bottle. It's very smooth. This one, this one just says it's fresh scent. Now this is a, this is just a liquid and when you push this it makes a little foam. Nice. Okay. The OTC section looked pretty good. I didn't really have to do anything over there. Okay. So what you do is you buy like you get the little pump a little hand pump like this and then you buy a big refill I have this huge refill bottle it's just plain unscented soap I bought that thing at Walmart probably two years ago and I'm still using it I still haven't used it up this is antibacterial flavor but these yeah all of these are 500 milliliters it's not bad for a dollar. I think it's pretty good. What do you think? Bath and beauty. Like the bold and the beautiful. The bold and the bathful. I think this one is my favorite just as far as like the picture on it and the color and everything. I like that one. But that's a gel. It's not the liquid that you put in the hand the foaming pump. Here's some more lavender bouquet. It's just put up here, however. Fresh scent. Oh, they still have the Jergens. My grandmother would only ever use Jergens soap. This is a, a hand wash. It's cherry almond flavor. That's seven and a half ounces. I don't believe they have a refill for that. They're hard to reach. Okay. Now, oh, they do have some hand sanitizer. Boy, this was something you couldn't find for a long time. Gosh, I had to buy some for my kids to take to school. They had to have um, a thing of hand sanitizer. What do we got down here? Oh, a dial hand soap. This one's cool. Look at this. It's like a little baby bottle of body wash, but it's hand soap. This one is Tropical Breeze flavor. This one is Aloe Vera and Jasmine flavor. I'm crashing into the chapstick because I'm so excited. These bottles are hard to move. Somebody abandoned some foaming bubble bath. Um, this is a great big bottle, 20 ounces. Oh, that's a two-in-one shampoo. The foaming bubble bath goes here. We have a thing of baby bath. Do they make that out of babies? Makes you wonder about baby oil. <laughs> Sorry, that's kind of awful. You can get, now I find if you have kids or even if you don't, this is a great thing to keep around the house because trust me, when you need, you know, some Pedialyte, it's going to be, I promise you, if you have kids and you need Pedialyte, it's going to be 10 o'clock at night and you're not going to want to go anywhere. <laughs> keep a few containers of Pedialyte around. Just keep them, just stick them in the refrigerator and forget about them. I always, when my kids were small, I always kept some Pedialyte in the refrigerator because you never know when you're going to need that stuff. We have Sesame Street Baby Wash. It's Elmo flavored. Or you can get baby shampoo. It's like the Johnson & Johnson baby shampoo. 
but it tastes like Elmo. You can get the lavender flavor. Let's see. That's the same size. These are 10 ounces. This is all the baby stuff. Where was this cheap stuff when my kids were small? All these doorknob covers. Oh my gosh. My older son. Was he was the little explorer when he started walking? He tried to go everywhere. Those came in handy because he kept he kept trying to go into every room. It didn't matter. Like he just had to go see what was in there. He was so curious all the time. My younger son wasn't quite so bad about it. Gosh, my oh, but now my younger son was he was a sprinter. That boy. I, we would be somewhere if I let his hand go for two seconds he would he'd run half a mile before I realized he was gone he could run so fast gosh he would just take off he would see something and just take off I could not let him go I had to hold on to him for dear life every time we went anywhere because he would just take off they do have kids stuff over here you can get the liquid diphenhydramine which is good because that way you can really titrate that dose. You can make it a smaller dose. I don't think titrate was the right word, but it popped into my head. See, I used to work in retail pharmacy and hospital pharmacy. I've done both. I learned all my generic drug names working in hospital pharmacy. Woo! Now, these are definitely as unstable as my ex. Look at that. I didn't say which one. So if any of my exes take exception, you're just pointing yourself out. I didn't call names. I didn't say I was talking about you. These are cool bottles, but this shelf is wobbly. It's got tetanus waiting for you right there. That reminds me of my, check my checkup this year. I have to get a tetanus shot. I'm it's been 10 years this year since I had a booster. I hate those things. They make my arm hurt. But I'll get it. Okay, we have uh, cocoa butter, petroleum jelly. We don't have any of the regular right now. What's this can? Angel of Mine Baby Room Air Freshener. Just open a window. Don't spray anything in there. That's not necessary. Yeah, just air it out. I don't, you don't need to be spraying anything in there. That's just my opinion. They even have the grape flavored pediatric electrolyte. Yeah, oh yeah, definitely. I, I would have at least two full size bottles of this stuff at all times because my kids would never get sick at a convenient time of day. It was always like the middle of the night. So, yeah, just have it available. Trust me, you will not regret it. Now these, you know, I'll tell you what this is. This is the older bottle, and they've just crammed the newer ones in here amongst the old bottles. That's what I'm saying. People get on to me all the time. Mary, you're not rotating your stock. Well, first of all, I don't work here. And second of all, the people putting it out aren't rotating it either. So probably what I'm doing is more of a rotation than what's being done by the people paid to do it. You can get wipes. These are Huggies. I never could afford Huggies. Those are fancy. I always used the Kirkland wipes or Walmart. I didn't have a lot of spare money when my kids were small. This is cool if you, um, I don't know if you know about this, like say, I don't know, say you're visiting family or whatever and you have your kid with you and you just need a few diapers right quick. You can get these little packs here and they have them in different sizes. These are size six, size five, and you can get you four diapers for a dollar. And they, yeah, you have to dig around a little bit, but they have threes, fours. They have different sizes. These are fives, fours. So it's, it's really handy if you just need a diaper really quick. Yeah, it's awesome. Then we have little washcloths. Oh my gosh. I miss my kids being small. Getting these little things like this. Little socks. Oh my goodness. They grow up so fast. Oh my gosh. 
she put that one in the wrong spot. Yep, sure did. I'll probably do it again. These are Fisher Price wipes. I didn't even know they made wipes, but apparently they do. Learn something every day. Oh, I didn't get very far. I got distracted. Here's some bubble bath. This goes down here. Here we have Barbie detangler. I remember that stuff. Well, we didn't have Barbie. We had the Johnson & Johnson detangler because my hair was always a mess. And my mom would have to spray that in there to get a brush through my hair. I was like a wild animal when I was a kid. I was so, I was so wild all the time. I was always dirty. I'd always been out playing in the mud or something. Here we have hand sanitizer that's aloe flavored. Yay. Wet wipes. Oh. These look like a vacation. They look more fun. Look like more fun than a vacation. Refreshing waterfall. How cool. That's the most attractive pack of wipe, wipes I've ever seen in my life. Okay. Um, these are cockeyed. Okay. Spa soap. Aloe and chamomile. Green soap. 16.9 ounces. And you know what? This right here, you can get a 32 ounce. Now that's milk and honey. A 32 ounce refill for a buck. One dollar. I love Dollar Tree. You don't have to love it if you don't want to, but I do. I think it's wonderful. We have, this is all antibacterial. Aloe and chamomile. There. Ugh. All right. Happy little bottles. <laughs> Yay! This doesn't go down here. This is, um, ooh. I don't see an aloe vera. Okay, we're just going to stick it up here because I may be looking right at it, but I don't see any more of that. Okay. Let's see. Down here we have Nouvelle Tropical Coconut Milk Hand Soap. I'm not going to spread it out too far. That way it leaves some space if they need to put out something else. I get critiqued for the way I do this by people that I just assume are very, very dedicated employees telling me I do it wrong. Okay. And no, I don't need a job here. Okay. Fresh berries. And this one is fresh peach. Nouvelle. 15 ounces. A little refill bottle. There's a bunch of the fresh berries back there. Golly. Tropical coconut milk. And then you have these gigantic refills. And they always have these big refills down here. God, they're heavy. <laughs> they are. Milk and honey. I find, though, that these, this kind of stuff dries my hands out. This one's just antibacterial. Wow. That's just unreal. I don't even know how they, how do they do that for a dollar? I don't get it. That's something. That's like, um, dial. Yeah, I mentioned Olive had to go to the vet yesterday. She, um, she I had to take her to the vet because she wouldn't eat anything. Like, it seemed like her mouth was hurting and she wouldn't eat. So I took her and they said she had an ear infection, which is kind of weird. So I have to put eardrops in both ears for 10 days 
she's gonna hate me <laughs> and she's so dramatic too whenever you put eardrop do anything to her she screams like you're killing her <laughs> she's so dramatic I can't stand it <laughs> yeah she's gonna hate me I have to do it when I get home today and I've been putting it off but I, I have to just go do it I don't know oh look at these little things it's a little reusable cold pack. Looks like it's full of caviar. <laughs> Look at it. It's a little... It's kind of sick. It's like a ladybug full of caviar. <laughs> what is this? Oh, it's a, a clip for their pacifier. Neither one of my kids ever used a pacifier. They, they had no interest in it. And I didn't push it because I thought, well, that's one less thing to have to deal with later. This one looks like it's full of vitamin E supplements. <laughs> Gosh. So it's a reusable cold pack. Interesting. That's cool. You can get them a pacifier that says wild and free. Oh, this one's cute. Look, it says hello sunshine. But yeah, my kids... I tried a pacifier with both of them. They just spit it out. They didn't care. They spit it out and looked at me like, what are you doing? Why are you giving me that? Okay. I really have to get some lint rollers and go home. But look. It's better than it was. I, they do have a nice variety of hand soaps, I have to say. And they're all only a dollar. One interesting thing I've noticed, though. Not all of them, but some of them the refills you cannot get a, a pump for and vice versa <laughs> so I guess well this one they have a did they have a refill for this one the fresh peach well this is fresh peach but it's a different company I mean you could put it in there it's not gonna hurt anything it's just kind of weird because they let's see now this is apple flavor but there's no pump with apple soap in it. <laughs> Same with uh, this lavender right here. Unless you got one of these. I mean, it's not really a pump. It's like a thing of dishwashing liquid, basically. It's just weird. I don't know. It's only a dollar. I mean, you can't really complain all that much. <laughs> so anyway, yeah. Yeehaw! Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed that. This was a, a delightful Saturday afternoon. I enjoyed it. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye. I just saw this, and I had to tell you about it. I bought some of these last year, and a lot of people were asking me about these Paisley plates I got. They had them in Dollar Tree last year. They have them again, and it looks like they just got them. And you can get little placemats. I'm going to get some of these placemats. You can get little kitchen towels. Oh, even an oven mitt and pot holders to match. Oh, my gosh. I wanted to tell you about it, though. Oh, and they have glasses. I wanted to tell you because last year when I got mine, it got gone so fast. It was all gone in a few days. So, yeah, if you like Paisley as much as I do, you might want to go check out your Dollar Tree really soon. <laughs> if, they, if they have any, mine's got it right now. So, I'm going to grab some pot holders and placemats, I believe. So, yeah, I had to show you that. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs>